Selamat pagi, good morning Yang berhormat Tuan Syed Sadiq bin Syed Abdul Rahman Menteri Belia dan Sukan Minister of Youth and Sport Yang berbahagia Datuk Ahmad Syafawi Ismail Director General National Sports Council Yang berbahagia Datuk Haji Hamidin bin Haji Muhammad Amin President FAM Yang berbahagia Encik Ahmad Faizal Muhammad Ramli CEO National Sports Institute Yang berusaha Encik Zainal Abbas Director of Sport Division Ministry of Education Ministry of Education Now, uh, first of all I want to say uh, thank you uh, especially to the Minister and uh, all of you for coming here this morning. Uh, I understand the media was not, is not aware of what is going on. So I just want to say that uh, I think we have a very happy occasion for sports in Malaysia, uh, for football. Uh, we think uh, we may have won a Malaysia who can play in Europe and uh, hopefully he will be successful but of course uh, the pulang kepada you lah ha? Lokman you more rajin saya cakap tadi yang rajin belajar bahasa English rajin dalam latihan jangan sekali mengaku kalah never give up eh? so <coughs> I think if uh, so this young man, as you can see, is Lokman Hakim in Shamsuddin. Uh, we got his parent here, uh, Fatman here this this here. Pachit, dan Pachit boleh? Yeah. Terima kasih. They live in Kota Baru. So we thought it would be a good idea to bring them down. And... Uh, it's a happy occasion for the family. Now, uh, <coughs> we identified uh, Lokman <coughs> after his performance in, uh, uh, in a recent national event where, we, where he did very well, he scored many goals. And he's consistently scored goals in many tournaments. So I think he has a good chance and he's, uh, he only turned 18 in uh, March. Uh, much next year, 2020. So under the FIFA rule, you cannot sign a player uh, unless they are 18. But we have reached an, an understanding that uh, he will come and train in Khadid and later he will join uh, KVK. Uh, th this is a football club in Belgium. It plays in the Belgian Premier League and uh, it is owned by Malaysia. <laughs> so, so as Malaysian, we must uh, try to help our countrymen if it's possible. But I think uh, this will probably be the first time that we think uh, Lokman has a chance, that a Malaysian has a chance. Uh, but of course, I understand there's a lot of Malaysian playing now in uh, Japan. So that's very good. It's a good start. And we hope uh, we will be able to provide training, encouragement, and leadership for Lokman to be able to make it. But of course, like I said earlier to, to all the other gentlemen who are, in the, who are the head of sports in this country, that all of you must encourage him. No? Because sometimes to go alone overseas, uh, it can get lonely, they can get homesick, and they are young. No? But uh, youth should not be a weakness. Uh, being young is, is, is great to be young. And I think uh, we will all encourage Lokman, we will all support him. And of course, the most important thing, yang mustahak sekali, terpulang kepada you. You berjaya ke, you tak berjaya, terpulang kepada you. Kita boleh sokong you, uh, kita boleh pujuk you, uh, 
kita boleh ajar you dengan mustahak you sendiri mesti mau berjaya so the most important thing is he must want to succeed and I think uh, you see him play in uh, the few matches I watched the video I think this young man can make it and we hope and pray that he will make it and it will be good for Malaysian football you know football is a big sport in the country I think this is the only sport that you can get 80,000 people into a stadium so it is a very big and popular sport and we hope that Lukman will not after this Lukman will be the first for us and hopefully we can get others to come and and hopefully football in Malaysia eventually we hope we can get into FIFA which will be ranked in the top 70 if we are not ranked in the top 70 in FIFA we can never go and play in UK uh, unless special circumstances we make special, special appeal they may allow but very very difficult so the country needs to be in the top 70 I think we are like what 170 What's our ranking now? 158 Oh, we went up! Congrats! Wow, come here, come here. <laughs> I'm a bit behind eh? 158, eh? Bagus That's good We have gone up But we need to cut the numbers into half We need to be 70 68, 69, 70 uh, It is possible you know, we have a population of 32 million Belgium population 6 over million, maybe 7 7 million Belgium Is it 7 or 11? Could be 11, I'm not sure But uh, Croatia, 4 million Bosnia, 3.8 million The most incredible is Iceland 360,000 population Iceland the captain of Iceland played in Cardiff for 8 years but now he has gone to uh, Qatar so it's not the numbers, it's the quality so I hope uh, all the people in the sports leadership in this country will improve the quality quality and facilities for players to train you know, government has to invest in this um, and I think sports is a good area for the government to invest and uh, I believe I believe that uh, that football will improve in this country uh, I think there is a very good leadership now in football uh, especially headed by a very young minister with the youngest in our history minister so so once again I want to say that I'm personally very pleased uh, being able to bring Lokman to Europe I'm very pleased uh, with the support of uh, all the parties involved from the minister to all the officials in the football uh, world in Malaysia and uh, And we will do our best, both Cardiff and KVK, to give Lokman the opportunity. Uh, we regard it, I told the uh, management that this is very important. You know, they have to help me to make Lokman make it also. But of course, like I said in the end, the pulang kepada Lokman. So, with this, I would like to say, uh, Congratulations, Tanya Lokman, uh, Tanya Ibu Bapa Lokman, uh, and uh, Tanya to all the sports, all the football officials in this country. And uh, inshallah, God willing, uh, Lokman can be successful. And I will feel most, most happy. I'll be the happiest if uh, Lokman does well. Thank you very much. Thank you.
for those of you who may not know, the MC today was also one of the pioneers of um, NFDP as well. So I'm pretty sure it's quite relieving for you to see one of your boys uh, going to be the first Malaysian, especially in Belgium, uh, and hopefully opening doors for other NFDP students to come. Uh, thank you very much, um, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Um, hari ini hari yang sedikit luar biasa Bukan saja kerana kita lihat salah seorang rakyat Malaysia Yang berwawasan diberikan peluang untuk mewakili Malaysia uh, Untuk masuk ke market Eropah Tetapi yang lebih mustahak adalah supaya hari ini dijadikan salah satu uh, penanda aras Pada masa yang akan datang supaya bukan sahaja Luqman tetapi rakan-rakannya, adik-adik yang sedang melalui latihan dalam NFDP dan EFD turut akan diberi peluang untuk latih bermain bagi pasukan-pasukan di Eropah dan insya Allah jika mereka dapat membuktikan diri who knows in the future in some of the top Premier League um, I have to thank uh, Tan Sri Vincent um, I think this is the first time that we see uh, a Malaysian being taken up and this country Vincent has three clubs Uh, obviously in the UK, in Belgium and also in Bosnia um, So thank you very much Sanctuary This would not be possible uh, without your kind support Saya dimaklumkan kita ada sepuluh dah lama Berusaha untuk memastikan ini dapat dijadikan uh, Salah satu success stories for Malaysia dan bagaimana Kalau ekosistem mula sifat itu bukan sahaja terletak Di tangan beberapa pihak tetapi setiap orang boleh memainkan peranan itu sendiri Termasuk uh, golongan sahawan, penjagaan, businessmen, dan businesswomen Who are successful, who have their own football teams To take up the mandate and the responsibility To train and bring our fellow Malaysians to greater heights um, Just to inform members of the press, I think about two weeks ago Tan uh, Sri has also uh, mentioned uh, the intention of bringing Lokman to Yamak Muhammad Uh, Perdana Menteri to Dr. Mahathir Mohamad and Tun was obviously excited um, and hopefully there will be more players who will be brought in uh, in the near future so I think the final goal here I mean we've all seen how Lokman plays he's one of our best players by far but most importantly his heart is in the right place so my hope and my dream for Lokman is that while he goes and trains and plays for Europe he doesn't stop there <coughs> Like how I met Hadi Fayyad in Japan about a month ago From being someone who didn't know much about the Japanese ecosystem Started from scratch That today is well respected The teams, the coach, the manager love him um, And it's all about willpower He really trained a lot um, He put his heart into the game And now he's well respected And because of his success uh, in Japan It has opened up the doors for many other Malaysians to play in Japan in the near future Bahawa baru ni saya rasa kita akan mengatakan anda ke tujuh Pemain EMP dan NFDP juga Untuk ke Jepun So I think it's, it's, it shows that When one person goes and he proves That Malaysians can do it Akhirnya dia akan membuka ruang dan peluang kepada banyak Anak muda Malaysia yang lain Untuk diberikan peluang yang sama Uh, kepada saudari Lokman Saya ucapkan tahniah Dan selamat maju jaya Ini hanya permulaan Tetapi saya agak yakin Bila saya dan banyak orang melihat Cara dan gaya Lokman bermain It's not just raw talent Tapi Lokman yang datang dari keluarga Dari kota baru memang bekerja keras Hati di tempat yang betul Dan saya agak yakin selagi budaya kerja Itu dapat diteruskan Insya Allah you will be the best of the best Which Malaysia has ever created Tahniah untuk Man, tahniah kepada ibu bapa Saya ucapkan selamat berjaya Assalamualaikum Saya rasa soalan tersebut lebih baik diajukan kepada Sponsor yang di sini, sebelah kanan Dia tanya kepada Tan Sri Vincent Tan Daripada Pak KPS dengan FAM Kita hanya membantu untuk menjalinkan hubungan tetapi yang uh, paling banyak membantu khususnya dalam merealisasikan impian ini adalah Tan Sri Pesertan melalui KBK dan juga Kali City
I think uh, the main reason is uh, Lockman scored many goals, and these are important goals. And uh, he fought against a country that are stronger than us. So I think, uh, and he's young, so uh, he's got many more years left in his career. And I think uh, going to train in Cardiff, and then after that go to KBK, uh, will give a big boost to his career. And I hope, I pray that uh, no one can succeed and, uh, and that I'll be so, uh, I'm so happy that we can play a role to bring him to Europe. So it is his uh, track record. Uh, and you can see that uh, he's got good techniques and uh, he's fast. So of course, uh, going to Europe is a different thing. He has to work very hard, he has to train hard. And I also encourage him that he must learn the English language. Uh, in Belgium, Belgium is like bilingual or trilingual. You know, but English, everybody speaks English in Belgium. And of course in, in Cardiff, everybody speaks English. So English is very important. So he must be disciplined and learn English. I told him he has to be very Rajin, Raja Bahasa English. The Raj, Rajin are not the Hi, I don't Well, uh, we believe that it's possible, but uh, 
of course, like I always say, it a lot depends on the players. I mean, everybody can support him, but in the end, he must have enough. He must be disciplined to perform, disciplined to do the right thing. And he must have the discipline to train hard, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, with that, and if you work hard, got the right attitude. The coach or the manager would definitely want to play him and let him start, or at least let him uh, sub him. You know, so I think uh, a lot depend on the players. And what we can see in Loman, I think he's got it. He's got the skill. He's got the technique. He's got the speed. So he needs to be uh, coached to the to the way that they play in Europe, and I believe that since he's young, it is possible. And of course, there are many areas that we have to help him, we have to give him, uh, you know, that we have to encourage him. He has to go to the gym to train, to beef up. Uh, he needs to. The other thing is to be able to communicate with his teammate, with the manager, so he has to learn English. And I think if he's committed, he can do it. And I believe this young man is committed. I believe he can do it. And he also know that the whole country is cheering for him. Malaysia is cheering for him. And Malaysia want him to make it. So I believe with that knowledge, he will do his very best. And of course, we will all be there reminding him. Uh, and I also told the, the management to to give him a lot of help, you know. He's young, he's coming to a strange country, a new country. But I believe, I believe he can make it. So we believe he can make it, that's why we're willing to do this. So I pray we are right. Thank you. Um, Patrick Farah from NSD. Uh, first and foremost, you kept saying that Lukman has very good techniques. So maybe you can just share with us what, in your personal thoughts, makes Lukman a unique player. That's my first question. Second question is, are you planning on taking any other players from Malaysia? Thank you. Well, to me, when I say technique means, you know, what does a striker do? The striker has to score goals. We don't want goals to be scored by the defender, no? But very often in football, the defender score goals. But we want the striker to score goals. So he's a striker, he scores many goals. And that, that is technique. Or no? well, technique in this case is results. No? Some people have nice technique but cannot score goals. Some striker, oh, very nice technique, R run so nicely, everything. But the ball doesn't get into the net, what happened? <laughs> so, so this young man get the ball into the net. So we hope when he goes there, we get the ball into the net. At the end of the day, is the result. Keputusan yang mustahak. Gaya lah, apa itu okay lah, tapi yang mustahak is results. Keputusan. Okay. Thank you. Just, just on that note, uh, scoring goals uh, last last year. During the AFC and the 16, Lukman played one and a half game and scored five, became top, top scorer of the 16 championship. So, that is one and a half game. Uh, hello. Okay, nine from Box Scholarship. Uh, okay, so I'll end with the YB Sasadi. Okay, so I'll end with the YB Sasadi. Okay, so I'll end with the YB This is the biggest prospect in our country. So, I'll end with the YB Sasadi. But most of the players who are the YB Sasadi, akan mengalami masalah bila dah sampai ke sana. So sekarang kita orang Malaysia nak tahu siapa yang akan keluar ke sana. Okey, itu saya soalan saya. Dia akan jaga. Hmm, selain coach, manager, pasukan dia, tapi yang akan jaga Lokman adalah Lokman sendiri. Kita kena yakin dengan kebolehan dia. Kena yakin bahawa beliau adalah seorang begitari 
Kerana kalau dia tidak dikari, tidak kuat bekerja, tidak rajin Mustahil dia akan berada di sini Mustahil dia akan mengharumkan nama negara dengan Sana sangat baik dalam berbagai jenis perlawanan sebelum ini He is here because of his hard work um, Dan dalam bab ini Saya agak yakin ke mana sahaja dia pergi Tetapi kalau hati dia di tempat betul Dia tetap akan berjaya So the end goal is we will all work together Kita semua akan kerjasama sebagai satu unit Untuk memastikan bahawa Salah Luqman berjaya Dan saya juga percaya apa yang uh, Tan Sri Bintu Tan tekankan And yet it's all up to him ya, Kalau dia betul-betul kerja keras Apa pun rintangan Beliau akan berjaya hadapi Uh, saya terima kasih kepada Astro Awani Ada soalan untuk Luqman uh, Kita bercakap tentang kontrak 5 tahun Dan kini dengan sidang video begini Anda kini sedang menjadi tuan Malaysia Jadi orang akan sentiasa memahatikan Bagaimana anda nak, apa, nak cope dengan tekanan Sewaktu berada di sana Bagaimana kamu ada muda lagi Mungkin anda boleh share Bagaimana nak, nak serap pressure Okey, pertama Saya akan mindset pergi dari saya sendiri Saya akan Uh, prepare daripada ketika saya Mentaliti saya Macam mana suasana rasanya Macam mana pemakanan Kita kena biasakan lah So sebelum ni pun saya ada tua Kelua negara ada, Dalam satu tahun ada tiga kali tua So saya rasa Saya boleh biasakan lah InsyaAllah Lepas Ramai yang mungkin ingat uh, Luqman pergi tak lama uh, Tak sampai lima tahun Dan ni macam mana Luqman nak mengubah uh, persepsi uh, Orang ramai itu uh, Agar uh, pembina Luqman kali ini Betul berjaya Berbanding dengan sebelum ni Nasri Faiz dan sebagainya Okey, pertama Saya berharap lah Agar rakyat Malaysia Berjalan yang terbaik untuk saya Pertamanya kebui bapa saya Okey, tapi saya janji saya akan buat yang terbaik dan memang cita-cita saya bermain luar negara dah terbukti di mata so saya akan genggamlah saya akan simpan dan ni pun buat kebaikan bapa saya semua yang Malaysia Okay. Very good. Soalan lain tu.